Hey everyone, M1 Shadow here. So in today's video, I want to clear up a myth that has been going on almost ever since I can remember. And that is the myth that if somebody gets so high up there in the martial arts that they have to register their hands as lethal weapons or deadly weapons with the uh, town or the county. Let me tell you this, I've been in and out of martial arts a good portion of my life. Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Karate, Kung Fu, did some amateur boxing and uh, for a little while I trained in MMA. Okay, I have met people really high up there in the martial arts, I'm talking really highly ranked black belts. Um, even trained with a couple pro MMA fighters and I can tell you none of these people have their hands registered with their town or county as lethal weapons. Okay, I even asked them about it and they laughed and they said no that's just a rumor. I went ahead and did my own research on top of that and what I did find was that the only thing they said I, I didn't find any law stating you how to do that the only thing that I did find was that there were a couple schools that were uh, within the school itself they were making their students uh, register their hands or something I, I don't understand the whole process but it was done within the school and I could tell you that is dishonorable and from what I even read uh, was fraudulent so if somebody tells you that their hands were registered as lethal weapons, uh, either they're a victim of fraud themselves or they're just trying to impress you and make up some, uh, some phony stuff. Of course, I do encourage you to go ahead and do your own research on this as well. As always, I do want to thank you all for watching and have a good one.